There are many ways to unwrap a model. Let's look at a few. This is a very simple vase planter that we have here. If we just use the easy way, the U key and unwrap, like we did for our crate, it unwraps it like our crate. That worked great for the crate because the crate sides were all the same shape and the same size. That's not the case in our planter, so that's not going to be a good choice. There's another method that's pretty automatic. Smart UV project. When I started working with Blender, this was not a good choice. <laughs> But now it seems to be better. So for simple things, it might be a good place for you to get your feet wet. Let's give it a try. Smart UV project. Leave the defaults there and say OK. Now that looks pretty good. It really does. Sometimes, though, when you're working with your model, you're going to need to make some changes you almost always need to make some changes. I shouldn't kid you. And so I'm going to show you how you can do that. Over in the 3D viewport, hitting the A key, selects, deselects, selects, deselects. If we want to select just one piece, we can click on an individual piece. I'm right clicking now. Let's say that we want to enlarge the area where this dirt is because obviously we have some extra room here and we might as well fill up the texture plane and make our texture sharper. I can click on that. That highlights this. Hold down the shift key. Right click on each one of these corners. The G key grabs it, moves it over here. If I want to make it larger, the S key lets me scale. Okay, let's see how that looks. That works out very nicely. This piece here is going in a different direction than the other sides of the planter. So we need to flip the direction on this. We're going to do pretty much the same thing. Right click on this corner. That takes the highlighting off of this one. Hold down the shift key, right click, right click, right click. So you want to see this all solid. Then we're going to go R for rotate, X for direction, 180 because we want to flip it all the way around, and then left click. That worked well. Now, sometimes changing things in the UV window is easy and sometimes not so easy. If you notice up here, we've got the same problem with, with one of these pieces inside that corresponds, this corresponds to that. One of these pieces inside is flipped the wrong direction too, so we need to fix that. Let's see what happens when we do that. I'm going to right click here, hold down the shift key, right click, right click, right click. Let's zoom in. See how this gets orange going on the way to this one vertice to another? That's not good. I'll show you why. R for rotate, X for direction, 180 to flip it around. Control Z is your friend. So what we need to do in this case is figure out which one of these pieces belongs to this area over here. So I'm going to right click here. That's not it. Right click here. That looks more like it. Let's press the A key to see them all. That's it. Now I can go down here. We're in face select mode and go over here and click this. This is the keep UV and edit mode mesh selection in sync button and I can click on this one all by itself. Grab it, move it out of the way. Now I can do R for rotate, X for direction, 180 to flip. Okay? That's a good trick to know. 
I'm going to take this off now because sometimes that messes things up. Go back over here to the left side, hit the A key for all, and we can see everything. I never like to have my texture go all the way out to the edges, so I'm going to hold down the B key for box select, select all this, hold down the S key for scale, and scale it in just a little bit. That makes me happier. Now we'd go ahead and save at this point, I would anyway, and we're ready to go on modeling.